One flew over the cuckoo's nest takes place in an asylum. The narrator, Chief Roden, is a Native American who pretends to be deaf and blind and is a patient at the asylum. The asylum is ruled by a nurse named Nurse Ratchet. She splits the patients up into two groups, the acutes and the chronics. The acutes can be cured of their illness where the chronics cannot. At daily meetings, Ratchet has the acutes attack each other verbally to continue to make them feel insane and not leave the ward. If a patient tries to rebel, they are sent to receive electrical shock or a lobotomy. Ratchet continues to rule the ward until her power is tested when a new patient arrives, Randall McMurphy. McMurphy is a man who is rebellious, a leader, and full of energy. He came to the asylum because he pretended to be insane so he didn't have to work on a work farm. Right away, McMurphy makes it his mission to become the leader of all the mental patients and cause Ratchet's downfall. Through several rebellious actions, McMurphy finally breaks Ratchet when he protests her actions of refusing to let the patients watch the World Series on TV. He does this by sitting in front of a blank TV screen. The other patients, such as Chief Broden and Billy Bippet, join him in the protest, causing Ratchet to lose her cool and scream at McMurphy. McMurphy continues to fight against Ratchet until he learns he cannot leave the asylum unless Ratchet lets him. This causes McMurphy to stop his rebellion and submit to Ratchet. This confuses the other patients because he was their leader and now he's not standing up for them. But when one of the patients drowned themselves because he quit fighting, McMurphy starts a rebellion again, although he fears for his own life. He does this by going on a fishing trip with 10 patients, including Chief Broden and a prostitute named Candy Star. The fishing trip made Nurse Ratchet very mad. When they return, the patients must be showered, but Chief and McMurphy rebel against this by getting in a fist fight with the aides. The two are sent to the disturb ward for electroshock therapy. McMurphy acts as if the shocks don't affect him, increasing his heroism status when he returns to the lower ward. The final scene is when McMurphy has a party with his patient friends, Billy Bippet, Candy Starr, and Chief Broden. They drink, do drugs, and Billy has sex with Candy. McMurphy was planning to escape the ward, but fails to when he falls asleep. The next morning, Nurse Ratchet discovers Billy and Candy sleeping together, resulting in Billy killing himself out of embarrassment. This makes McMurphy attack Ratchet, strangling her, and thus sending him to be lobotomized. McMurphy returns as a vegetable, but due to his rebellions, many patients check out of the ward and Ratchet loses her power. Broden, now being in control of himself and courageous due to McMurphy, suffocates McMurphy with a pillow out of mercy and escapes the hospital by breaking the window with a panel. Created using Powtoon.